All right, guys, so today we have a uh, 2005 Ford F-150 5.4 liter uh, with a terrible power steering noise. Um, diagnosed it here is the pump. Let me start it up and let you have a listen to it, and then we'll get busy on replacing it. All right, so we'll go ahead and get that shut down here, and uh, let's get uh, get everything set up here, and we'll start working on getting this taken apart. All right, so first thing we'll go ahead and get this uh, mass airflow sensor uh, unplugged here. We're just going to get this air breather picked up and pushed out of the way. So uh, let's get that off and then unhook it from the throttle body. Okay. All right, then we'll just kind of set it off to the side there. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and get this cam sensor unplugged just to get its uh, connector out of our way here. Okay, next we'll go ahead and get the uh, belt taken loose here. Go ahead and just slip the belt out of the way for now. It'll be good there. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this return hose off of the pump here, and we'll start working on the uh, the bolts that actually hold it on. All right, so once we've got that hose off there, we'll go ahead and uh, try to get these top two uh, bolts cracked free. bad for that one. So there's uh, one of our bolts, set it off to the side. All right, we've got the other one out, so we'll set it off to the side. Now what we're going to have to do is try to go underneath here and get that bottom one out. Uh, once we get it out of the way, we'll be able to get the uh, high pressure line off of the bottom of the pump and uh, start working on getting our new one in. Alright, and then pretty much, yeah, she'll come. We'll go ahead and go underneath here. Uh, it's just set, set up there, and I'll show you getting this line off. 
All right, so if you look here, um, right on the back side of the pump, where this line comes in, right here, it's gonna be a uh, 18 millimeter. Uh, we're just gonna use a wrench real fast, crack it free, and we'll go ahead and pull the pump out. All right, and then she's out. So uh, like I said, just that one high pressure line here uh, underneath. Um, might give you just a little bit of trouble, you know, holding the power steering pump still uh, while you try to get it freed, especially if it's super rusty or something like that. Um, in this case, like I said, it's uh, easy enough one hand to hold the pump, one hand on the wrench and crack it free, and then it's out. So uh, let's go ahead and get our new pump, and we'll work on getting it back together. All right, so we've got our new pump here. All right, let's go ahead and get this uh, line put back on with our new uh, Teflon seal. And then we'll work on getting the pump rebolted back up. All right, so once you've got uh, all three of your bolts uh, started back in here, go ahead and put your return hose back onto the pump and put your belt on and we'll fill it up with some power steering fluid. Uh, this application takes Merc on ATF, so uh, we'll fill it up with that and get this uh, air intake back on real quick and we'll start it up and see how it sounds. All right, so to uh, bleed out the air from the system here, uh, we're just gonna take the cap off, uh, fill our fluid up here uh, in the reservoir and what you'll want to do is just turn the steering wheel lock to lock um you know good 20 25 30 times uh you should see your fluid level drop uh as air is being purged out and then uh, after that just top it off and start it up and we'll see what it sounds like that should get all the air out before uh, even starting this truck up all right now that we have uh, all the air purged out i believe we'll go ahead and start this truck up and see what it's sounding like So I think we have as much air out of it as we're going to have. Uh, night and day difference here as far as the sound goes. Uh, I guess we'll take it for a drive, shake it for any leaks, top off our fluid if needed. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.